Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to install an Excel add-in. So these instructions will be for the Windows versions of Excel. If you're using Excel 2007 or later, these instructions will work for you. So the first step is we need an add-in file. Maybe you've downloaded one from excelcampus.com or some other website and you have an add-in file on your computer. Now I typically like to save these to some uh, folder that's just easy to remember. Here I have this add-in file. This is an add-in file, my pivot pad add-in with a .xlam extension. You can see it's a Excel add-in file and I have it saved here on a folder within my documents. So I've saved this file here and now we need to install it. Now unfortunately you can't just double click this file to open it and install it in Excel. We actually have to take some steps to install it in Excel. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll jump into Excel here and the first thing we want to do is go to the file menu, either the file menu or if you're using Excel 2007 that'll be the office button and then we're going to go to the option right here and that'll open the Excel options window you'll see that here and then we're going to choose add-ins on the left side this screen might take a second or two to load up and then we're going to go down to the bottom here where it says manage and this should say Excel add-ins if it doesn't choose Excel add-ins from the drop-down and then click the go button and that'll open the add-ins menu right here so now here we have the add-ins menu with a list of all the add-ins we have installed or installed in the past on the computer if they're not checked if the box is not checked here then that means it's installed on the computer but it's not enabled right now so it's not actually opening when we open Excel so we want to browse for the add-in file that we just downloaded and saved to the computer so I'm going to click the browse button here now when you click that button, it typically defaults to this add-ins folder on the computer. It's under this app data roaming directory, and that's the default directory where add-ins can be stored on the computer. However, you don't have to save your add-ins there. I like to save it to a directory that's a little easier to remember. So I'm gonna navigate to that directory that I saved my add-in in, which is under my documents here, Excel Campus, add-ins and here's my pivot pal add-in file so i'm just going to select that file and then click ok and that'll add it to the list right here so now you can say here's our pivot pal add-in and the box is checked right here to let us know that it's going to be enabled so i'm going to click ok and that will basically load up the add-in for us and with the excel campus add-ins that adds the excel campus tab up here to the ribbon so i have my excel campus tab right here and here's all my buttons for my pivot pal add-in so we can see it's loaded here now the add-in loads every time we open excel it automatically is going to load for us we don't have to do this step every time we open excel we just need to do it once and then th these add-ins whichever add-ins are enabled from that menu Menu will load every time we open Excel and you can also see that add-in menu from the developer tab it's an easier way to get to it from the developer tab just click the add-ins button there and that'll open the add-ins menu and again any items here that are checked will open every time we open Excel so I hope that helps you I'll have another video on how to uninstall an add-in as well and uh, if you have any questions at all please leave a comment right below the video and I'll be happy to help answer them if you'd like to learn more about macros and VBA then I have a free three-part video training series that will really help you out in the first video we write our first macro and I also explain the Excel object model if you've ever wondered what the dots between the words mean and what order the code runs in, then this video is for you. In the second video, we automate a common Excel task to create a summary report of all the sheets in the workbook. And finally, in the third video, we build a user form to export the sheets out of the workbook. You can learn more and sign up for the free training at excelcampus.com macros. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.